Hello everyone, High Treason here, and I said there would be no more computer videos in this house, but shit's taken longer than I expect, so I'm kind of in moving purgatory, and uh, let's get this over with quick. You might remember, I think it was a few years ago now, I reviewed uh, Star Wars Dark Forces, and there's all this talk of a new Star Wars film, and I have seen it, and I've got to say, I don't actually mind it, but that's not what we're about. You might remember I said, this game apparently will run on the 386DX33. Well, now we've just got to fucking try that, haven't we? I think I said at the time, like, there's no way. This game's, like, more advanced than Doom. Doom, you've got to shrink to a posted step, and it still ain't going to run good, if at all. So, you think more advanced game, better graphics? It's going to run like shit if it'll even get off the ground, surely. I mean, it says right there. You know? <laughs> 3860x33 minimum. What planet are they living on? Some planet in a galaxy far, far away, perhaps. And it certainly was a long time ago. Screw it, let's just try this shit, because it's the only way we're ever going to know. Yes, it runs. <laughs> I think I'm, think I'm lying to you. I mean, look. I would say, run smooth too. So, uh, am I, am I, am I fucking with you? Because you know, you can see a machine there. You know, my three at six living that be like this and elaborate stunt. You know, that fucking fuckhead. What, what is he doing? He's screwing with us. He's not running it on that. Uh, really? Yeah, well, you know, it's the only thing I see running here, and I'm sorry I don't have my capture set today. Look at that, you can't max the graphics out. But, holy hell, Carl Catan can sure walk around uh, quite nicely. And I have tried it. It do not even slow down that bad. So, and you saw the polygon graphics, in fact. Let's go back. Oh, hang on. Uh, it takes about a million years to load. That's the problem. But you've just seen, it's working. It's... I've got sound and everything. can even have music. Hold on, should we enable music? Uh, do I have it set up? Use a bit more CPU time, so I mean... It, it's a bit... Okay, I'll have it about there. Return to game. Katan! How awesome would that movie have been if it had Katan in it? Uh, yeah, that's the 486 DLC I usually use, not plugged in. That fan's noisy, ignore it. Oh, and what's that CPU there? That is uh, a 386 DX33. And if you look at the manual for the 307H, we'll see we are in a 33 megahertz position. And, uh, well, I don't know if you're still not believing me, so hold on, let me just uh, pull the camera right back here. I, I think my subscriber base probably will, because you know, one thing we don't do on this channel is fake, we do not lie. Well, you can see the lights went out on the, uh, the drive there when I pressed the power button, so we now know. I can't change the monitor over in that short term, and where's my hand going to go? Electric shock on the power switch, maybe? <coughs> well, that, that seems to... the readout seems to match up with what we have, doesn't it? Oh, ooh, 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 shall we go for further confirmation, shall we? Yes, we do have 32 megabytes of memory in here. Thank you, Wayback Tech. You fucking rule. Because that, uh, this game wouldn't run on the memory I had before, because it, it was a bit flaky. I don't know, only one is 16 meg. <laughs> I'm not going to complain, I've got 32. And we're up on 256k of cash now, that was spares iron mine around. So, yeah, what were we doing? We were confirming this, weren't we? Uh, I don't know what that buzzing is, I hope it's the fan. Uh, let me see, what do we have? Then let's decide. Should be in here somewhere. Just running a search. Oh dear. 
Well, this might take me a minute. I don't want to cut the camera, I apologise. I should have uh, done a better job of finding this, really, shouldn't I? <clears throat> I think I would still have that folder on here. Dear. Uh, hmm. I'm going to be upset if I can't do it. Ah, there we go, I've got mine. This isn't finished yet, so please don't come down on my ass for uh, having problems with uh, my menu. Uh, let's go with check CPU. Yeah, it's a bit spastic. Uh... Ooh! Well, fuck you, Doom! Because they ain't going to run on here. And, uh, well, you might think I'm blagging, you know. Do, do we have Doom on here? I'm not sure I do. I, it doesn't run. I wouldn't have bothered installing it. Unless just to be cruel to the computer. Oh, of course I've got it. Uh, CD, HTBS. High treason's bullshit. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting you. That's the thing. When I... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Well, it doesn't matter. We can uh, exit out of it. I'm sorry. But I'm keeping it short because I'm going fast. Well, that seems like 386 grid performance, that's for sure. Might actually be a bug in my menu here. Nope, there isn't. Let's run Doom. <clears throat> I mean, Dark Force, we could uh, actually whack the graphics up a little bit. But, uh, you know, Doom should run better. It's not as advanced. Yeah, sure, let's, uh, let's play Doom on this fucker. We haven't even got sound running, and uh, I'm going to have to remember to put this back. I'll just copy the folder in again. Because you're going to be like, well, it's not fair, you're running it in high detail, so... Dark Forces, I can't remember what the detail's at, so by all means go back and have a look. And uh, we're going to shrink the screen size a bit on this, because... Well, it's... It's like walking in syrup. It's... There's not much in it, but... I'll tell you what I'd rather be playing, and I'll tell you what's running a lot better. I mean, imagine if we had sound on, because the sound blaster, all that work's going to be done by that CPU. And, uh, well, it's just, it's unresponsive. You'd have to try it yourself to really get a feel for it, but certainly, I think that is very impressive. I've got to give it to LucasArts on that, because I did not think that would work, and I have messed this up bad, haven't I? <clears throat> you can tell my programming isn't... <laughs> I won't say anything. I just hope nobody notices my poor programming. Yeah, I, I am a shit programmer. I am merely a script kiddie. I do not live up to the massive fucking awesomeness that is the team who made Dark Forces. Because that is some seriously impressive shit. Because I have sat and played it, and I'll admit it is a bit temperamental on this particular 386. But apparently it is a bit hit and miss. Uh, I suppose, you know, I, I haven't really had much to test, but yeah, it's probably a bit hit and miss, but well, shit, you got it to work. I'm impressed. Uh, I'm very, very impressed, because I thought, you know, this game's damn near flawless as it is, so the system requirements are going to be a problem, and a lot of them weren't accurate back then. Who would have guessed? It's bloody accurate. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know really how it works, because putting that 486 DLC in doesn't seem to make the game really run that much better, and it runs pretty good as it is. You know, we can actually uh, crank the graphics up pretty high, I mean... Uh, Let's see if we can do this. CDX slash. Uh, I'll never start up in time. CD. Because uh, I want to end this and have me supper. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should just to. Uh, oh, that, that command would have worked. Just to prove that I'm not messing with you. Because there will be somebody out there. Like I said, trust my viewer base. I think, trust me, that I'm not. I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. <clears throat> oh damn, I've got to update that. 
Yeah, my uh, website moved to zeph.com. Uh, and I'll be pulling my 3D Realms mirror, so I'll keep the FTP mirror, but the site mirror, you know, it's not necessary now. Yeah, cutscenes work. You know, don't need a lot of power to do that. I mean, we've got the cutscenes like this in adventure games, didn't we? But like I said, the problem here is that the uh, load time is atrocious. Generals. The load time is atrocious. Let's crank the volume up. And you can still see the screen, you know I can't be fucking with you. The picture would have gone off if I was. In fact, that graphics card's broke, that's why it has those in it. I need to get a hot air gun on it. That's temporary fix. I like that music. It's good. <laughs> Honestly, I can't get over it. Uh, uh, yeah, I like to say it's hit and miss. <laughs> Crap. That kind of makes me look full. Oh, no, we're good. We're good to go. There we go. Hold on. Before it takes off, let's be horrible to the computer, right? So that's where our graphic detail... Let's just ramp that up full. Now, one off of full. And we'll ramp graphic detail up full. Why the fuck not? Leave it the screen size on full. And let's see what happens. Okay, now it's choking, but it still runs pretty fucking nice. You know, to say that's minimum system requirements, you could probably play this, you know, with, I've never played this on the lowest detail today. You could probably play this on a far slower 386 than mine, because mine's pretty quick. You know, let's be honest. Yep, that's a polygon bridge. How about no fuck first? Oh, screw these weapons. Oh, I haven't got those yet. Crap. I have no weapons. So I get for uh, putting cheats in, I guess. No! I'm playing it one ended, it's not that easy. We've got ambient sound, you got the lot. So I'm gonna cut it here, but. Holy fuck! Who would have thought? We need more programmers like that in the industry. Guys who made that, you'll never watch this, so there's no point in me really saying anything, but... Good God! That... Mad respect. Fucking mad respect. Seriously. I don't know if anyone's ever tried this on record before, or what even the, the developers themselves ever did, but... I didn't even know that sort of shit was possible, I'll be honest. I mean, I've seen people do shit like this in, you know, in fucking scene demos and shit, but they're scene demos, they're not having to handle controls and an interactive music system, they're just playing a playlist that... <laughs> and it'll fit in about 8 megs of RAM. Well, uh, like I say, you're asking for trouble on 8 megs, you will need more. And especially if your memory's faulty, like my 8 megs was, and that's one of the reasons I ended up with this 32 meg here. Uh, and my graphics card's faulty, so I'd, that's my shitty old Seng Quick Works from my 486. It only, only needs a hot air gun, I just can't be bothered yet. Uh, I might just put that uh, Western Digital one in here for now, actually. It would work. Uh, well, this thing's running, I guess I've got to benchmark it. I said I would uh, benchmark it for somebody on Vergons. A bit of a running with a moderator over there. And I still expect an apology out of him, because he's a bit of an asshole, baby. I always get the blame for everything. I mean, I am an asshole, but I'll admit I am. You know, there's a difference. But yeah, that's, that's that. I thought it was worth actually trying out. And shit, it works. I... I can't stress enough how impressed I am. Now I look stupid because I didn't think that would work. I admit my, my error.
I'm high treason. This camera lens, it doesn't matter what I do, I think it's chipped or something. It doesn't focus right. It, it's busted. Maybe we'll replace it at some point next year. But I'm getting out of here. Uh, probably will be another computer video actually, but it'll be shit, so I'm, I'm weighing up whether it's worth uploading. So I actually got a Celeron system that the neighbour threw out. Let me try and fix the light here. But I don't know. Either way, I look like a fucking bum and I'm getting the hell out of here. And uh, yeah. I know what to say about that. It's it's pretty damn impressive. Nerd 2 CPU collectors do not prop your keyboard up on a CPU tray. It doesn't end well. There'll be a bunch of bent fucking pins, won't there? Wonderful.